Hello and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper and today we're regaling you with the saga of the Miata that would just randomly die. Recently, I had the misfortune of helping my girlfriend diagnose her 1992 Mazda Miata. Now, for those of you following the channel, you know this car actually has a new engine and is in really good condition overall, but it does have over 280,000 miles and numerous decades on all of the other components that haven't been replaced. The symptoms were, we would be driving the car, it would be running perfectly, all gauges normal, suddenly it would violently stumble. Sometimes only a single herc and jerk, sometimes it would just stumble completely and die. Now it seemed to progressively get worse and it would only really happen under sustained load at like mid to low RPM, something like slightly pulling a hill on the freeway or something. Now to begin with, it would usually resolve itself for the rest of the trip and we would not be able to learn anything about it, but as time progressed, it got worse. Now, the other oddball thing about this was, other than the violent shaking and occasional stall, it would throw the check engine light on when the engine would stall, as with most conditions where the engine completely stalls, but no code would be stored. When we pulled the codes from the engine, there were no error codes to be had. This would have helped point us in some direction. We ultimately assumed it has to be fuel or ignition, and we thought it was probably ignition, but we would replace the fuel components anyway because they were 280,000 miles old, as near as we could tell, and ultimately had probably been there since 1992. So we replaced the fuel pump and the fuel filter just to be safe, and then we started diving into the electricals of the ignition. Now on this particular car, you're really talking about spark plugs, spark plug wire, coil, and you're talking about the igniter chip. If it's not in that main series, then it has to be from the computer or the CAS. In our particular situation, the problem was the CAS, but we replaced everything else just to be safe, and ultimately everything else was cheap enough that all total together still didn't equal the cost of a CAS. Now, for those of you not familiar, the CAS is the unit at the back of the valve cover on the top of the NA Miata engine. It is connected directly into the back of the camshaft and it is measuring the angle of the camshaft. This is why sometimes you'll hear people call them cam angle sensors and some people call them crank angle sensors. Essentially, they're doing the same thing. By knowing where the camshaft is, it knows where the crankshaft is because they're connected by a timing chain. So they don't really have an option to get out of time. Now, ultimately the problem is, that is the only thing providing that information to the computer determining when sparking and fuel injecting happens. And so when that stopped successfully reading its position, the engine would instantly herc and jerk because it would instantly not get spark. And that would cause it to just die essentially while running. Now, because it is a manual car and we were in motion, a lot of times it would restart and that would be enough to keep it going from that problem forward until the condition got extremely bad and the car just would not start anymore. Now, if you find yourself in this position, it's not a great place to be simply because of the cost of the CAS, but ultimately it is a job you can do in your driveway. All you need is a 12 millimeter wrench and a ton of patience because you're probably going to need to spend a lot of time fiddling with the key that goes in the back of the camshaft before sliding it back into place. Hopefully this information is useful to someone out there. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.